Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to get started on the G.I. Joe Classified Croc Master and Fiona, our baby girl. She is actually an alligator, not a crocodile. Shout out to my boy Reed for giving me information because he's been working with uh, with alligators and, and crocodiles down in Florida. And he was giving me that info. And it's the 40 teeth above and below. He gave me some other facts. And then we're going to talk about the albino one as well, too. I know it's not in focus, but you get what the hell I'm talking about. So, let's get to it. Yo Joe, Yo Joe June. Um, shout out to Hasbro for sending me this care package because it was dope of them to do that. So I've won a Croc Master anyway. I have still have Croc Master on pre-order, but since I have it early, I'm going to try to sit down, review it now for everyone's viewing pleasure. So yeah, Croc Master is really, really like cool in sense of what you get. That's pretty different in terms of uh, like uh, figures. Uh, as you can see. Even though they call him Croc Master, he, he's with an alligator. <laughs> but um, you can see the, the Croc skin shirt, the chain, the pants, the boots. Obviously, he's making it out of those that he, you know, we don't know what the means are. But in the bio, you know, this is like his profession. So it's pretty cool with stuff like this. I do love the like the rebreather style, especially right here in the back. Proving that man spends time, because he's from the Everglades. So he spends a lot of time in or around the swamp water. So he's probably using it to be able to breathe, whether he falls underwater, whatever it is, he is prepped for the situation. Uh, the eye belt is really cool. I'm not really... <laughs> it's funny because like this design right here is like a, a crotch protector because the hide is very thick, so it protects his crotch area. But I'm like, for all that, you might as well make it like your entire pants leg is too. So maybe it's a little too hot. Maybe it's a little too sweaty. But yeah, in terms for articulation... We can actually tilt our head side to side. We can get downward. We can get upward as well. Our breather does not come off, but it does attach at the back, which means if you want, you can actually just remove that if you want. So that way, when you remove the head, you can remove that as well. We do have our butterfly joint. And mine's is a little stuck in there, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to like warm that up and get that out of there. We can hit our T-pose with no problem. We have our diaphragm waist, right? We have our deep ab crunch, which is really nice. Goes forwards and backwards. So we have a lot of movement there. We do have our bicep swivel. We have our double joint. And these are actually removable in case you want to remove them. So just like with gun ho, you can actually remove those if you need to. We have our sidearm, which is actually a revolver. We have our knife. As far as leg articulation, we have the drop down method. We can pull up and go forward. We have thigh swivel as well, looking really good. And then, oh, boot cut. Didn't even realize this, but we have boot cut as well. I don't know how I didn't realize that before. And with our double joint, we actually get a lot of movement there. Right? And then we have our generous, generous ankle pivot. I feel like his is a little bit less generous going forward. Maybe mine is just a little bit of gummy. Or maybe it could be the knife holster getting in the way. Uh, I'm going to have to double check that part off camera. But if we see about crouching here with our boy Croc Master right so when lined up really well crack master actually does get low very easily as you can see he can even crouch down and get that that really extra low movement and we saw that we can tilt our head back as well too so we can get low so that way when he is dealing or working with fiona like let's say he wants to sit on top of well not sit on top but crouch over her especially with the leash which i'll show you in a second we actually have some natural movement that looks really good here with fiona and now that we've talked enough about him let's actually talk about fiona for a second croc you stay right there so i'm gonna count her as an actual figure versus a, a prop because she actually does have points of articulation and actually a lot of personality which is really nice so as you can see our head can swivel left and right we can go downward and upward as well so i do like that as well the tail is actually really nice it's uh bendy here in the back towards the end and then we have a ball joint here to rotate as well so i really like that we're able to do that and with our legs we actually have a little bit of movement as well as some pivots here so we can actually replicate some swimming poses as well unfortunately the legs the front legs though oh we actually have this movement as well to add like if you flip it over this actually looks really good like there's a lot of really good gator like well sorry alligator poses and then we actually have a up and down hinge as well on the front feet. But they're pre-posed 
to make an L shape about 90 degrees. So yeah, there's a lot of really cool poses I want to get out of this. I hope I, I can get some good ones out of this because I like how the jaw opens up. You can see like the appendages here on the side kind of match that. You can see the teeth. I like the scaling of this, even though it's soft too. Like, I like that it's soft, but I also like that it's kind of breathable. Oh, so they put holes in here so that way it has some extra movement, but also so that it doesn't completely carry water in case you're going to put it in water. So they actually kind of thought of you there with that as opposed to trapping all that water inside like when we were kids. Um, <laughs> they actually put holes at the bottom for that. So that's actually pretty cool. So Fiona's dope as well. And as far as our accessories, here's where it gets really cool because we actually get a meat hook. And the meat hook is for, and this is what Reed told me, the meat hook is actually a weapon used for breaking up meat to give to them or to help hinge open jaws, like I've seen in a few other photos, but it's more so for feeding them large portions of meat and breaking that up and to safely feed it to them. Then you have a whip. It comes pre-coiled, coiled, coiled, not curled, <laughs> pre-coiled, right? But if you have like a, a third-party Catwoman whip, this would work as well. It's just that this croc slash gator skin one is actually really nice to add that touch to a primary weapon for him. You'll also get a leash for Fiona, so you can keep on the leash. I wish it was a little bit better wired, but it does fit around the front portion of the neck to prevent her from you know getting too far and it doesn't look bad on her I think Fiona rocks the collar really really well then we have two baby gators so here we are with one of the tiny ones that is a green color it is extremely tiny compared to her if I put her on top you can see that uh, They look very tiny, even on top of her, right? And then we also have an albino one, which has red eyes. Reed told me about this one. It's a pigmentation thing. So this is an albino gator. It's actually, it's not rare, but it's, it is uncommon. Shout out to Reed, man. Gave me a lot of info for this. I appreciate you. And then on Croc Master himself, the things I did not go over, but I'm going to come back to, we actually do have, let's actually fix our focus. There we go. We do get a combat knife that is sheathed down at the bottom. Right? You can resheathe that. If you feel like it warps a little, you can just heat that up and get right where you need to go. And then we also have a revolver here. Not as big as the one that was used for Major Blood, but still, it's a nice revolver. And that about wraps up our accessories and what they come with, as well as how cool Crockmaster is. But I do want to talk about the size comparisons comparing it to Joe's Valiverse and things like that so I'm gonna stand them up and then I'm gonna put them up next to some Joe's and some some Cobras and you can see what you're getting into so let's do that hey now we're gonna do the size comparisons let's jump to it here we are with a Viper Python Patrol version so here we are with the Viper as you can see I thought Croc Master would be like a little bit bigger but in reality he's actually around the same size as the Viper Right, and then we compare him to a Storm Shadow. Right, so even next to Storm Shadow, he oh, Viper fell over. Next to a Storm Shadow, he's actually a little bit taller. He actually really is. So then I'm gonna throw in Roblox, right, to test out this whole size thing. And as you see, Roblox is actually a little bit bigger than these guys, but not crazy bigger. So again. I do like that everybody is a different size and it kind of really brings that everybody's different and everybody's a uh, different at what they do in G.I. Joe. And I think I really, really like that. That one kind of hits close. I like that a lot. Here we are with the Baroness. Baroness is tiny. Not too tiny though. Here we are. Oh, let's do Valiverse Slaughter until we can get our Sergeant Slaughter, right? from SDCC so we can compare that one as well here we are with a Marvel Legends Spider-Man and I don't think I have everything out but it crack mass seems to be around average six inch height because he kind of ranges out with everybody else oh excuse me 
here we are with my kit bash modified beach head right so as you can see here you can see what's even out in case you want to try a much bigger or smaller line here is mythic legions as you can see they're much bigger and if you want to see what's on the smaller side i don't ooh, crap i don't have no lightning collection around right now but i do have my main man of 2000 skills sh figure arts kamen rider kuga and as you can see here he's a little bit smaller right so as you can see with the joe stuff it balances out like it works well with other hasbro stuff it actually still works well with shf i think the only thing that feels a little out of place is probably going to be mythic legions but uh again it's your toys you're going to mix in and do whatever it is that you want to do and you know have fun that's the most important part right so thank you guys for joining thank you for seeing croc master i'm going to try to do what i would think is cool for croc master because i do not have a really cool everglades swamp dial so hopefully you guys will enjoy what i got in mind in the meantime thank you for watching thank you for always being just here to watch and enjoy and as always please be good do good drink your water guys Bye.